going to show you how to change the host name of your Raspberry Pi manually. So if you're not uh, using the SD card method, you would go to dextraindustries.com how to and then scroll about halfway through the sheet. We have these directions, change the host name of the Raspberry Pi. What I'm going to do is log into dex.local <clears throat> um, using the browser and I'm going to follow the five steps here outlined. Uh, for changing the host name. So we'll go ahead and pull up a new window and we'll hop into dex.local. Great, so I prefer just using uh, terminal. You can use VNC and then open up a terminal if you're more comfortable that way. It should look pretty much the same. So I'll use the standard login credentials. I'll use pi and then robots1234 and we're in. So let's look at the first step. We're going to step Step one is done. Step two here is this edit the host file. So my shortcut is I'm going to control C it. So um, control C it and then in most browsers I can copy and paste from the browser here. So if I paste there, I can paste what I just copied in there. So sudo nano backslash etc backslash hosts hit OK. sudo nano etc hosts. I pull up and I'll see my host file. So down here at the bottom, I've got dex. I'm going to rename dex to dex1. So when I log in up here, it'll be dex1.local. So I change this to dex1, and then I type control x, and you see a change down here, save modified buffer. I'll hit yes, or hit y, and then the same file, I'll hit return enter, because I don't want to change the name of the file, and we've changed. So on to step three, which is to change the hostname file. Again, I'm going to copy right out of the browser here with a control C or a command C if you're using a Mac, but we're going to type in sudo nano, etc. hostname. So if I go back, I'll just paste from the browser here, sudo nano, etc. hostname. And I've got my old name dex here. We're going to call it dex1. So again, I hit control X, that exits. I want to save the modified buffer, so I type yes. And then I want to keep the same file name, so I hit return. Now one small thing that happened here, um, you have this, it throws a small error message, the sudo unable to resolve host dex. So that's okay, we're gonna power through that because we're changing the name, it still thinks it's dex and now it's seeing dex one, that's what's throwing that, that error. We'll see that on the next command as well. So. On to step four, commit the changes. Again, I'm just gonna copy this command because it's easier, but we're gonna type in sudo etc backslash init.d backslash hostname.sh. And just so I don't make any mistakes, I paste it into the browser. sudo slash etc slash init period d slash host name h o s t n a m e dot s h return and again we threw the same error because we're in the middle of the transition but that should be just fine so let's go to step five I'm using the latest version of Raspbian for robots which is why I can log in um, over the browser but I'll show you this step real quick in case you're not and you're doing this, um, say, in terminal. Um, I'm going to type in ls-la boot slash hostnames. What I'm doing here is just I want to see and list anything that's any file called hostnames. It's in the boot directory. That's what we're doing. So essentially, we're checking to see if a file exists. So I'm going to go back to my terminal and we'll just paste that in from the browser. Hit OK. So ls-la slash boot slash host names, that's plural. And we've got a host names file there. So we need to change that. So if you don't change this, you actually won't end up changing your host name because this is the file that, ch that you change on the SD card. And there's a script when you boot up the Raspberry Pi that checks to see if this file is different than the actual host name that we've just changed in these, uh, these first two files. So if it sees a difference, it changes it back to what it finds 
on this boot, this file that's in boot. So that's tying in. If you go back to look at this written example, that's the way you can change the host name by using the SD card. So uh, we've got that file there. We need to change it or else we're, it'll just ch revert everything back to the old name. We're going to use, we're going to use nano again. So sudo nano uh, slash boot slash host names. I'm going to just, again, just paste that in, but that's sudo nano boot slash host names. You also need it's slash boot slash host names. And it's still dex, so I'm gonna change that back to, or I'm gonna change that to the new name, dex1. Again, control X to exit. We wanna save the modified buffer, so save the new file, that's yes. And then we see this file name right to boot. Don't change the file name, we'll hit return, and we're ready to go. So we'll review real quick. We saw pretty much this happen. Um, we threw a couple of, of errors here and um, we finally changed the host name and we're ready to reboot. So I'm going to go back and do sudo reboot. Bear with me as this will shut down and reboot. It'll reboot under the new name dex1.local, which is what we just changed it all to. And we should be able to log on. And uh, you can end the tutorial here, but I'm going to go ahead and log on to dex.local just to uh, show you that the name did change. seconds to pull itself together. Just go back to this tab and we'll type in dex1.local, the new name of the Raspberry Pi. May not be fully booted yet. And there we go. Took a few seconds to reboot, but now I'm logged in under dex1.local. If we go back to the terminal and just see what the host name looks like, again, pi and robots, one, two, three, four. We didn't change any of that. And the new host name is dex1. So that is how you change the uh, host name of the Raspberry Pi SD card uh, from the command line. Thank you.